federal case of it. All I'm saying is play it a little slower. Danny, you're talking like an old man. It's got nothing to do with being old. Just play it a little slower. Last night you played me on so fast I was out of breath by the time I got to the microphone. You want to get started with a little bounce, don't you? A little jump? What's with the bounce and the jump? It's a floor show, not a basketball game. <laughs> if we slow the tempo down too much, you're going to come dragging yourself on like an old man. Harry, I'll worry about that, huh? Just play it up, okay? All right. You want to come creaking on like Methuselah. <laughs> Will you play it already? All right, all right. Fellas, we'll take it a little slower this time. After all, the old gray mare ain't what it used to be. <laughs> oh, cut it out! <laughs> Bunch of lies, Dad. Harry, Come on. Harry, hold it, hold it, hold it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Danny, Danny, I hate to interrupt you. I want you to meet Paul Pryor. Paul Pryor? How are you? How are you? I guess I've said it's a pleasure every time I've been introduced to someone, but I've never meant it as much as I do now, sir. Well, thank you. Thank Give me the music, Paul. Here, Harry. So you're a singer, huh? Yeah, this is the kid Jack and Trotter was so hot about. Oh? Yeah, I, I figured we could fit him into the production number. Oh, that's a pretty tough number. You think you can handle it? Well, I'll certainly try, sir. Well, fine, okay. Harry? Anytime, anytime. Well, good. All right, go ahead. Let's hear Just what you... Just keep it moving along, sir. Nice, bright tempo. Well, that'll be a nice change. Lately, all we've been playing around here are lullabies. <laughs> all right. Give your tongue a rest and use the stick, huh? <laughs> How I love you, how I love you, my dear old Swami. I'd give the world to me. I'm on the folks way back in the IX. I even on my mammy. She's waiting for me, praying for me down by the Swami. The folks up north, they'll see me no more. But I get to that Swami shore. Swami. Coming back home this morning. Mammy! My mammy! Yeah, I love the old folks at home. I've been away from you a long time. I never thought I'd miss you so. Somehow I feel our love was real near you. I want to be. Singing the summertime, I hear the banjo soft and low. Somehow I feel I love what's real, Swanee. I love you so, Swanee. How I love you, how I love you, my dear old Swanee. I'd give the world to who be among the folks. She's waiting for me, praying for me down by the swan. The folks up north, they'll see me no more. When I get to that swan, I get to that swan, I get to that swan. Oh, real good. Real jump, real bounce. Very good. He's fine. All right. Real fine. All right. He's young. Shut up! <laughs> now that you've gotten the approval of Bugs Bunny there, I guess the job is yours. Really, Mr. Williams, you mean that? Of course I mean it, son. You're very good. Gee, I, I don't know how to thank you. You've made me very happy. Hey, kid, yeah. You're real happy you're gonna work here, huh? Happy? Gosh, that's not the word for it. I mean, you realize it's a great break, huh? Oh, yes, sir, I do. <laughs> Let's talk salary. Come Wait on. a minute! <laughs> He's got you so softened up, you're about to pay him. Well, it would be worth it to be in the same show with you. Well, thanks, son. You know, I, I, I've always dreamed of doing a show with you, Mr. Williams. Oh, really? Uh-huh, ever since I was a, a little kid back in Chicago. Oh, you... Used to see me at the 5100 Club? Oh, no, I was much too young then. <laughs> I, 
I, I heard about you all the time around the house. From your father? Oh, no, sir, my grandfather. Your grand. <laughs> Gee, I would have loved to have been born way back then. <laughs> Those great old days with Sophie Tucker and, and Al Jolson and you, Mr. Williams. Um, um, look, kid, um, <clears throat> let's go up to my office and talk after you take your foot out of your mouth. <laughs> Well, it's been a great honor meeting you. Well, not that great, I'm sure. Oh, yes, it is, sir. To me, you'll always be one of the, the grand old daddies of show business. <laughs> You cut that out! <laughs> what are you trying to do to me? Make me old? What? Sitting there knitting like Whistler's mother. What do you think that makes me? Whistler's father. What are you about? Why shouldn't I knit? Because. Because it's a symbol, that's why. You're as old as the things you do. And knitting is old. That's the trouble around here. We don't do enough young things. Sitting there knitting. No wonder I'm old. <laughs> Mother's boy, come tell Mommy what went wrong at the club today that you are so upset. We hired a kid singer. Oh. <laughs> Young kid. Oh? Sings good. So? And fast. <laughs> so? He heard about me from his grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> Call me a grand old daddy of show business. <laughs> According to him, I entertained the troops at Bull Run. Oh, honey, that's ridiculous. You're still a very young man. Yeah. Let's go dancing. Dancing? Yeah. Let's be young like we always were. Come on, oh, we'll go dancing honey, and jump around. We haven't been dancing in years. We'll look foolish. So, so we'll practice. We'll practice. Come on. Oh, Come on. I'll, I'll put a record on. We're going to be a real hot shot child. Here we go. <laughs> How about that? Young, huh? Be all right, Somebody just turn the air off in the room. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm just a little out of breath. Otherwise, I feel like a 17-year-old kid. You sound more like a 17-year-old engine. <laughs> you finished our homework. <gasps> What's the matter with Daddy? Nothing's the matter with Daddy. We've been dancing, and he's just a little out of breath. Yeah. A little? He looks like he hasn't breathed in a week. <laughs> You look terrible. What happened? Are you getting old? I'm not getting old. <laughs> nothing to do with being old. I just saw a lot of breath. That's all. I nothing to do with my age. I've just been neglecting myself a little bit. But I'll be okay. It's the case of neglect. That's all. Boy, it sure must take a lot of years to neglect yourself that much. <laughs> <laughs> you get out of here and leave me alone. Nothing, 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 nothing. Don't pay any attention to him, Daddy. You look just fine. Thank you, sweetheart. You have lots of nice color in your cheeks. Thank you, dear. I like purple. <laughs> Mom said it was all right with her, but it was all right with you. It's all right with me, son. Thanks, Dad. Okay, son. 
<laughs> What's that funny smell in here? What smell? It smells like uh, shoe polish. <laughs> well, I was, uh, I was polishing my shoes before. Well, where were you doing it? On top of your head? <laughs> I know. Get out of here. Yeah, right now. <laughs> Rest a little longer, dear. Mommy, he's sick. I'm he's not sick. sick. I'm not sick. What well, he's sick? got a big bandage around his tongue. <laughs> what are you thinking? Hey, Daddy. Daddy, is that two-way stretch? Hey. Ah! Charlie, what this is all about. What's to tell, Charlie? <coughs> when you're old, you're old. When you're young, Charlie, you think old is only for your father, your mother, your uncle, your aunt. You, you're immortal. You'll be young forever. Then one day, something happens. Somebody says something, or you... Something happens, and you realize it can happen to you. I'm old, Charlie. Let's face it, I'm old. Danny, Danny, baby. Sure, we get old, but why hurry? What's your rush? I mean, you're a young man. Look at me. I'm older than you, and I'm in the prime of my life. My, I got my whole many... I, what are you doing? <laughs> I want to compare your pulse with mine. <laughs> oh, I got many productive years ahead of me. What, what, what are you doing now? I'm looking for your pulse. <laughs> what do you mean, you're, you're looking? You can't find it? Either that or... Uh, or what? Or you haven't got any. Wow! <laughs> oh, a man your age, the arteries get hard, you know. Hard? Like cement. <laughs> cement? Cement. Come on, Danny, for you too, and I got very nice arteries. I mean, ask anybody. <laughs> They're nice and soft. I'm in the prime of my life. I got... <laughs> More cement? Did you ever see a chicken when it's getting old? <laughs> you mean, uh... That's fine. I come here a young man, and suddenly I'm a cement chicken. <laughs> Look, Danny, I admit I'm no youngster, but this is ridiculous. I mean, I'm in a prime of life. I got many productive years ahead of me. I don't, what are you looking for? <laughs> what? I got your age, you got no gray hair. I told you I'm in the prime of my life. I got many productive, I, I feel <laughs> I use the same shoe polish. <laughs> well, I touch it up a little here and there. I figure if, uh, you know, I, you're right. You're right. <laughs> We're both a couple of old fogies. Charlie! Ah! <laughs> Kathy, you, you, you mustn't do that to men our age. Oh, fine. Now I've got a couple of old wrecks on my hands. Look at him. Stand up straight. <laughs> For goodness sakes, you're not only making yourself miserable, but you're going to ruin your career. How will it look? A, a creaky old Methuselah dragging himself on stage after that young, vigorous boy you just hired has just finished a jump tune. You're going to look ridiculous, Danny. Gee, I never thought of that. You know, she's right. She's yeah. right. You keep acting this way, and that kid's going to make you look like the old man of the mountain. Of course, and you can't let this happen, Danny. Don't worry. I have no intention of letting it happen. What do you think? I just started in this business yesterday. 
I get out on that nightclub floor, there ain't nobody gonna know about my age. Don't you worry about that. That's right, No punk kid is gonna come along and, and show me off, I'll tell you that. That's my boy. You bet you, honey. When I get out on that floor, they'll forget all about my age. That's right. You go out there with all of them and vitality you've always had. Yeah. And I'll fire that kid. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with you anymore. Go ahead, fire the boy. Fire that nice young boy for no other reason except that he's young. And you'll have it on your conscience for the rest of your life. Oh, Kathy, will you cut it out already? All right, I'll cut it out, but I just want to tell you, Danny Williams, that when you come to your senses, you're going to hate yourself. Okay, I'll hate myself. I'm having a tough enough time as it is. I don't know you to keep yelling at me. I've been practicing a new dance I learned at dancing school. Want to see me? Yeah, go ahead. da 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 She's got blood in her veins, not cement. <laughs> nice and young, huh? Yeah. If she wasn't my own kid, I'd hate her. <laughs> She's not my kid, so I hate her for both of us. <laughs> Come here, honey. Come here. Let me. Huh? Now, that's a pulse. Like a trip hammer. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't understand. There's got to be one. I got to have one. <laughs> Will you go upstairs to bed right now? Go and do as I say. He wins, but I'm not sleepy. Linda. Boy, are you lucky. Hmm? You get to sleep and watch television and everything. Why, I have to go to that stupid old bed. Boy, I wish I was your age. Daddy, I need some help with this homework problem. What's that? If a man has 18 oranges and he eats six... Hey, that must be Paul. Daddy, won't you please change Let your mind? Let him in and let's get it over with, will you, honey? Oh, hello. You must be Paul. I'm Mrs. Williams. Hello, Mrs. Williams. Uh, won't you come in, Paul? Uh, th this is our son, Rusty. Hi, Hi Rusty. Now, My Daddy, about said... this problem... Look, I want to talk with Mr. Pryor. I'll get to your problem later. Go on, go upstairs. Boy, I bet you don't have to worry about homework. Like, if a fella had 18 oranges and he ate six, how many seeds did he spit out and stupid stuff like that? <laughs> No, I don't, Rusty. I don't go to school anymore. Boy, you're lucky. I wish I was your age. That's funny, isn't it? Him wishing he were my age? What's funny about it? He should know what's happening inside of me. My stomach's churning. I can't sleep at nights. I'm worrying about whether the audiences are gonna like me or am I any good or am I gonna make it? Then I come over here and... Well, here you are, two, two nights before an opening, and well, you're calm and you're relaxed and you're playing checkers. And You don't have to worry, Mr. Williams. You got it made in show business. And another thing, well, you don't have to worry whether you're going to have a wonderful marriage or nice little kids, because you got that made, too. He's wishing he were my age. I'm wishing I were your age. You, 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 you want to be his age? Sure. <laughs> You must be nutty. <laughs> I think we're all a little nutty, Charlie. You're right, kid. It's funny. It's real funny. <laughs> we're all so busy wanting to be some other age, we've got no time to enjoy the age we're at. Actually, we're all at a good age. They're all wonderful ages. Trouble is, we're just not smart enough to realize it. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you for reminding me to count my blessings, son. Now, don't you worry about making good with that audience. My guess is you're going to be just fine. In the meantime, enjoy it. Enjoy the suspense, the excitement, the adventure of it. Yeah, you're at a wonderful age, Paul. A wonderful age. You know something, darling? When you think before you speak, you always say the right thing. And I love you. She's at a wonderful age, too. <laughs> well, my, my agent said you wanted to see me, Mr. Williams. What was it about? Well, it was about that production number. I don't think that you should do just that in the show. I think, follow with your talent and fine delivery, I think right after the production number, you ought to come back and do an encore, do a solo. How about that? It's wonderful, darling. Do you like that, sing a song by yourself? Oh, Mr. Williams, I never expected that. What'll I sing? 
Well, you can sing anything you want. I'll leave the choice to you. Well, I don't want to do anything that'll conflict with your song. Uh, don't worry about that, son. Won't conflict at all. I'll tell you what. You sing your age, I'll sing mine. <laughs> hey, I found it. I found it. I found it. Yeah. Yeah, look, I'm nice. Yeah. <laughs> I approach the prime of my life I find I have the time of my life Learning to enjoy at my leisure All the simple pleasures And so I happily concede That this is all I am This is all I need. Beautiful girl, walk a little slow when you are by me. Lingering sunset, stay a little longer with the lonely sea. Children everywhere When you shoot at bad men Shoot at me Take me to that strange Enchanted land Grown-ups seldom understand Wandering rainbows Leave a little color for my heart to own Stars in the sky Make my wish come true Before the night has flown And let the music play As long as there's a song to sing And I will stay young Yes, I will stay young Kiss me, kiss me warm Let me know that I've been born 